Who's that? It's It's the elephant. Who's that? It's a bear. It's uh, Boba. Oh, look at that. Who's that? Who was that? Who was that? JJ. JJ. That's a chicken. Who's that? JJ. It's Yo Yo. See, look. Yo. Yo. Yo Yo. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? JJ. No, it's not JJ. Look. It's Wally. Wally. Close. It's W A L L Y. Can you say Y? Can you say Y? You were screaming it in the car earlier. Alright, you guys, so today is Tuesday, January 11th, and I've started another blanket. This one is white, red, and blue, patriotic. And Mason just did some of his homework. He's going to finish the rest of it tomorrow and then do class tomorrow. And um, Daniel gets off at 1 today, so. I am going to not do anything around the house, but I'm going to work on this until then because um, just a lot going on. It has to be quiet for homework and stuff like that. <clears throat> and I'm going to let the kids watch cartoons in between breaks. So when Daniel gets home, I'm going to clean up the house. But for right now, and this is, this is it. I could clean the house and then... Um, do what I need to but um, basically I look at it like a business and I got to put my hours in whether it's charity or whatever you know what I mean <clears throat> tomorrow he works 7 to 4 so I'm gonna be cleaning um, except for the time that Mason's got to be in class so this is just it the kids are playing it was you and the dog I don't know, um, just hang on. Put those up. They need to be in your... Go put them on my bed so they don't get broke. But, um, yeah, so this is, this is just it. This is it. They're so watching a movie. It's currently 12 o'clock, but I have these chicken breast... That have to be thawed. So I'm going to pop them in the microwave, thaw them real quick. And then they're going to go in the oven with some potatoes and vegetables. And um, I'm going to slow cook them until dinner. Alright you guys. So I'm fixing my shirt. But um, yesterday, well let me, let me start off. Right now I'm having an IBS flare up really bad. And um, in an hour I have to log on. Well I have to basically sit next to Mason while he's doing virtual schooling. And then um, from there, I don't know what's planned. I plan on going out to my grandmother's today. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain, but like I said, I don't know what's planned. So currently you're in the bathroom with me. It's the quietest part moment in the house. Um, <clears throat> Lexa sitting on the couch eating some cereal in a bowl because mom life and when you have IBS and um, stomach issues as is, it's the best place to be. Kids are eating cereal and yeah, like, like I was going to say yesterday, um, Daniel, I took a nap. We all basically did. We were tired, exhausted, and um, it 
we just we basically napped yesterday and um mason did homework so i didn't vlog during that because he had to be quiet and focused and that was during lex's nap time and then um um shoot we had chicken we had chicken breast mac and cheese uh potatoes and like they were baked potatoes and then we had a we had some uh, mixed vegetables uh, uh cauliflower broccoli carrots i think that i think that's what was in it i know that's what was in it but i can't remember if there was anything else so that's what we had for dinner we baked the vegetables with uh we baked the vegetables with the chicken and mac and cheese on the stove that's what we had for dinner last night watched a couple of movies um honestly i didn't clean anything yesterday my plan was i was but that didn't happen so when i when i say clean um right now um like the cold the cold bothers me so bad um my knees hurt my hips hurt my body hurts um i have muscular dystrophy i have shark cut marie tooth it's a form of muscular dystrophy so instead of like telling people i have shark cut marie tooth which is a rare genetic disease um muscular dystrophy is just people know muscular dystrophy better than they do uh cmt so it's just easier so um i'm just it hurts it hurts my body um Part of the reason why my house was destroyed during the winter months, um, fall, br fall break, winter break, uh, my body hurts a lot. Um, it's not easy for me to move around. My chair is in cahoot. It's not getting fixed anytime soon. Um, I, it, it, Somebody was supposed to be out here in October 28th and nobody came. We sat and waited and waited and waited. Didn't even get a phone call. Didn't get anything. Um, can't get a doctor's appointment. So I am just stuck being a stuck duck. Can't get a doctor's appointment because it's hard for me to go up into the doctor's office without my chair. Especially during the cold months. So, because I fall. I fall easily. But, um, and I, and I have a hard time getting back up. So, they won't do video visits, which is a pain in the butt. So I am basically a stuck duck. Great, right, right, great. So, um, so basically what I'm dealing with right now is there's that. But when I say, when I say clean, back to what I was saying, um, what I mean is I just take a big hefty size garbage bag I like them because they're black they're hefty and they're really big and I will fill it up I will fill it up with trash and I take one a day I fill it up with trash I fill it up with um garbage broken toys um just things that need to be thrown away um if I feel and you guys if you guys have been following for a long time I do donate like 98 percent of the things that I get rid of so um if I just, if I personally feel that it should not be donated, it will not be donated. It will go in my other van um, that's currently out of cahoots right now. And it will go in the middle of there for a, like, St. Saint Vincent de Paul or somebody to come pick it up. So, I'm just, I'm taking one bag a day. I will, I'll probably do two today. So, I'll, what I, well, we have two garbage bags going right now full of garbage so what I'll do it because trash day happened and then we didn't have room in the trash cans so I'm going to finish filling up those and count them as one bag because they're halfway full so half and half makes full and then I'll take another bag and I will contribute and put things into it like garbage and stuff and declutter that away so I don't know if I'm going to do a like filming it with me or I'll show you like a before and an after or I, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know. Um, like, I, seriously, I don't know. Um, a lot of things are going on with copyright music. So I just, I don't want to get in trouble for that. And also at the same time, um, I don't, I don't want to fool around with that. And right now in this time of life with virtual, granted it's only for a week right now, but virtual and then like having 
another child that's going to be virtual until the 28th at least and then um you know a toddler and the dogs I have to take in and out of the house with the kids and Daniel and then try to spend time with Daniel like the whole doing a voiceover it's not it's not quiet enough in this house so <laughs> I can't do a voiceover anyways um so goal for today is is to get some things done um garbage wise I have met, I have set and I don't know if I'm gonna meet this I don't know if um um if it's gonna happen I don't know but I set up a um I just set a goal to save 10,000 um so basically well I'll show you I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about but basically um I set a goal for 10,000 I'm putting back a hundred dollars on my social security check every month so come February I'm gonna be putting two hundred dollars back because I wasn't able to do that this month and um I'm going to put that 200 back and then um, I'm going to be selling things and um, like selling things from the house to declutter and basically just saving money. So like I said, I don't know if $10,000 is going to get met. I have no idea because um, we had to. So it wasn't like a thing of like loyalty, luxury, anything like that. But I had to get a wheelchair friendly van that had the ramp. That way I could put my chair um, into the van. So there is that loan. There is the mortgage, um, Daniel's car loan from where we had to get a vehicle uh, for him to get back and forth to work, which that was before the van. But his car does not fit my chair, which it's not his fault, but we was in desperate need for a, van, a vehicle. Because the green, we needed a van when the, so we had the green van and then he needed a car and then he got his car, but then the green van went out. So I had to get my ADA van. So there's like those two loans that we had to pay off the house plus bills and stuff like that. So this year, I don't know if it's going to be met. Uh, goal is I want it to. So anything like, um, I go down to my grandmother's every weekend Plus kids going back for school. So right now it may seem crazy, but I'm going to pull back $100 for gas um, every month for gas. And then once when bills and everything is paid, whatever is left on my social security check is going towards that. Daniel makes more money than I do, but um, like his is literally, um, his is like the bill, like water and stuff, or well, it's confusing because like out of my check and I shouldn't have explained this to you guys, but my check goes towards like the water, the sanitation, the trash and um, that plus like the car loan and stuff like that car loan and insurance. So which is fine and I don't make that much, but at the same time, like it, it, I'm trying to explain this because it's not like how it sounds. It's, it's not what you guys are going to think like. Daniel's income pays for the house loan, the car, and, um, like, all the other bills and all the insurance and stuff like that. So, where my check comes in, I cover that, but I have to send that money to his account because my account, my, I have, like, a Walmart card and it sucks. I just had to go open up another account through another bank, but I'm not switching over nothing like that. So, I've got, like... It's our, it's our situation. So, um, I have to send that money over to him, but my money covers that. And then like, we've got groceries that come out on his and like, he's got to get gas and, um, basic, it, it works, you guys, it works for us. So like, um, like I have to use right now I have, we have to use his credit card to pay for the van, the van loan, but I give him the money to pay for the van loan. That way he's not negative in the bank. If that makes any sense. So, and then like odds and ends for the kids. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you, but that's how we do it. So anything left over, it's going strictly, it's going strictly into savings. And then, um, at the end of the year, I don't know if we're going to take that savings and hold on to it or take it and pay off pay off a debt um 
like putting it towards the mortgage or putting it towards getting um, a project that needs to be done around the house. I don't know yet. I don't know what we're going to do with that. But basically, that is what what we got planned. You know, savings is savings. And I would like, I would like to take that whatever we get and take it and put it side and then continue saving it. But at the same time, like once when we reach that point of no more house payments, no more car payments, no more car payments, no more nothing like that, then I would like to just save and save and save and save and save and save and save. And save. Because right now we do have like at home, we have money going toward the saving, but online where it's easier to pay something off. I just want to, you know what I mean? I don't know. If you guys are like paying debt and stuff, I think you would guys would understand what we're talking about and what we're doing. But I just, the goal for this year is to save 10000 and that's my set goal. So I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's this? I don't know. I don't know. All right, the kids are currently loading up the dishwasher. I am going to be taking this chicken and putting it in the Instant Pot. I'm going to let it cook off the bones, remove the bones. Add the vegetables in here and the remaining bag of vegetables in there. Maybe noodles or rice and turn dinner from Tuesday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, and turn it into a soup. Great way to use up leftovers. Okay, so explain your house. This is Happy. They've got 20 kids. There's someone who doesn't like um, playing with kids because they try, he tries to be nice. He, he plays on his Nintendo. He does work. He does homework. And he tries to be nice. And no one likes to be on his side. This is my apple tree. And this is my smiley. I mean my super highs, my flower. I'm gonna this is my um where I keep my apples, my oranges, my fruits, my carrots, my tomatoes and my celery and then you know those horse things where you like ride people around? I I'm making Oh, you're everything. talking about a um it's not a a corral, I think. Mm -hmm. I know what it's called. I just can't think of it. Me either. And then my house is an eco-friendly house. We have the happy house. We got the water coming in into the lake, into the little pond back here. And then we got a pond of fish. Well, there's two right now. And then we've got some bushes with some whatever you want on them. And we've got the fruits and the vegetables, the clothes hanging out on the line. We've got the water coming off into the rain barrel collector. We've got a flower that Obs drew, a windmill mill for the wind to come in to power the house along with the solar panels from the sun. And then we got the fireplace inside to keep the house all nice and warm. Did you get seven? All right, you guys, I'm currently driving. Uh, just dropped the kids off with my mom and uh, my mom's best friend. Uh, they have a girl over there. It's Alves' best friend ever. And um, kids are with them. Lex is at home with Daniel, so I'm heading back home. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop at Taco Bell and pick up some food um, when I get closer. It's supposed to snow. It was supposed to start snowing at two. We had a little bit of flurrying, but it wasn't like nothing ridiculous. Like um, 20 minutes out, it's like almost like sleet out towards my grandma's house. <laughs> but it's clear up here. There's like a little bit of snow, but not much. Um, if you guys wonder why I'm not wearing my seatbelt, it's clicked in. Bottom line is I have an ADA van. The seatbelts that were put in this for somebody else were for a paraplegic that didn't have um, didn't have a lot of core muscles so 
they didn't have a lot of core muscles. So, um, it, I, I have to get the strap readjusted because there's like nothing to go over and protect. Like it's like very thin. It's like very, very short. But, um, <coughs> I am heading on home. This person better stay still. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to take the highway. I don't know where I'm going to turn. There's like five or six different ways I can go home. Three, three or four main ways. But like once when you get down the main ways, there's like a bunch of different ways you can get back to the house. So I don't know if I'm going to go that way or not. But yeah, I am just going on home. I don't know what else to tell you guys. So the kids are virtual learning. I haven't been vlogging because of the simple fact that it's like I gotta keep. Let me get this on my feet. Um, but I haven't been vlogging because of the fact that um, it's just trying to keep trying to keep quiet. Can't really vlog about what's going on or anything like that because of the fact that like privacy of the kids online trying to keep quiet so that way you can learn sitting in with the class um even if I don't have to be right there um like right next to them I still have to kind of be in the same room with them and then dealing with a toddler and a preschooler um who has her own learning that she has to do her own homework and stuff so while he's doing that I help her or like um like Wednesday I went out to my grandmother's and I sat with Mason while he was in class helping with him. And then my grandma helped my helped my preschooler, helped Obs with her homework. She helped her with the first page, which was like doing the things of the day of the, what they were learning the day of the week if they was in school. And then like I helped her with the homework packet because by then Mason was already in class and it was just, he was good to go on his own. So it takes a community to raise kids. Um, I'm grateful for who I have in my life to help them. Um, it may not be a lot, which I do have. I do have a lot of people, but like it's not consistent. Like I have very few people that I would willingly like drop at the dime of the hat if something was to happen, like an emergency, that would come and get the kids and, and watch them and stuff. But like if we're camping or going to do things, like I have, I have like basically my whole entire family and older older cousins so not like my kids is like cousin age range but they're like older they're like teenagers who would also keep an eye out for them too so it takes a community I'm grateful for the people that I have um as of the chicken soup that I made so I do not like wasting food I do not like if it went bad and we completely forgot about it it happens I'm not perfect but like um, we will eat leftovers. We will have leftovers. Um, but it brings me back to like the Proverbs 31, the very last, the very last chapter of Proverbs 31. Um, it talks about now everybody's Bible will be different, but it's basically in mine. It's like the godly woman, um, godly wife, woman, how, you know, stuff like that. But, um, there, it just, it talks about you know, like, everybody's situation is different, so, like, you can't, some, you can't wake up early and stuff, I, honest to God, I don't wake up before the sunrise every given morning, but, um, it just talks about, like, she takes what she has, and she makes it into what she needs it to be, and, uh, she lets nothing go to waste, she makes all of her clothes and, like, the finest things with the littlest things that she has, and she provides, like, she helps provide for her family and take care of them and, um, you know, reaping what you sow. So, like, the seeds that you sow, um, you know, it just, it plays in the effect of, like, how I try to live my life. So, like, if I do, like, lately I've been waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. Um, I've been waking up at 4 and 5 sometimes because of Daniel, but I think it just started when my little cousin was born, um, that Christmas vlog that I did, and, um, I just, like, my body just instantly went on that time strand, but, like, 
past couple of days, I've woken up at like 7 because honestly, rough nights and stuff like that. Kids slept in, so I did too. But if I wake up early, I just have that time for me and I may not do my makeup. I may not take a shower. I may not, I may not do any of that. You know, I, it just simply, it gives me time to wake up. And then because I have IBS, um, it just, if I wake up earlier, I can have my morning flare ups before the kids get up, if that makes sense. So, um, it helps. It helps a lot. But, you know, I'll read my Bible in the morning. Um, lately, I've been reading my Bible at night after, like, Daniel goes to sleep and stuff like that. But, and I'm not, I'm not trying to say, like, if I feel up to it. But if, like, there's mornings where I wake up, my stomach's in a lot of pain. And I just, like, I have to lay there, have a moment to myself. Um, reading is, like, the last thing on my mind. So I will just sit there and, like, let it run its course and stuff with my stomach. And then, you know, there's times where I actually, I can hold my Bible and I can read it and have peace and reassurance and understanding and, you know, all that jazz. Um, what else is there? Oh, Lex, little Mr. Lexifer, he is now, he's not walking 100% independently, but he is now taking off, like letting go of things and taking off. And I know he's almost two, but he could very well have CMT like I do. But, um, like, it's, it's a part of my school industry, if you're new. But, um, he could very well have it. We can't test him until he's at least three or four. Uh, three if there's, like, a lot of signs. But, um, anyways, he's starting to let go of walls and furniture and stand up independently and play with his toys. He still will not get up off the floor by himself without like grabbing onto something and I don't know if that's something that he sees me do because I have to do it and he thinks that he has to too or what the case may be. I've noticed that now that the kids are back in school in a routine, you like granted they're virtual right now but they're still like on their own. Lex is now like he can't he can't depend on his siblings like he did when he was little and it, it became this thing of where he was the baby so you know, I was wanting to do everything for him, and Mason wanted to do everything for him, and I'm just, like, I'm going on and on and on and on and on, but it, it's, it's just something I wanted to share with you guys. It's really cool how he's up and doing that. Um, bought firewood today, and we went to the gas station at BP. BP was out, so we went over to another gas station. I cannot remember the name of this gas station for the life of me even though it's been there like my whole entire childhood. But we went over there, got a couple of bundles of wood. It was, it was $6.49, $7 per load of wood. Um, I think you get like five or six pieces, so it's like a dollar a piece. Granted, I would have wished for a truck load, but it just didn't happen this year. So we got those and it ended up being wet, which I'm not, upset about it because wood does get wet but it just I don't know it was harder it was harder for me to uh, light it and get it going now I don't know if it's still going now the Daniels and the house like because I left them to like tend to it but when I left it was going but the fan didn't kick on our fireplace to let us know they get hot enough and it took a while it took me like two hours of just constantly like adding kindle into the fire and trying to get it lit and trying to keep it stay lit and you know get to the point where it was hot enough to start burning and drying the wood and um you know like we have heat we have yeah we have um electric and natural gas and stuff like that for the heating and air but we like the fireplace we like the light fires in it it's really pretty it's calming um we like to do s'mores on them and all kinds of stuff so it's just it, it's really fun and then once when we got the firewood we went over to UPS to go ship off this blanket right here but they were closed so I couldn't do that even though it said they were open they were closed so now I don't know if I have to wait till tomorrow or wait till Thursday when they are open because tomorrow being a holiday I have no idea if they're going to be open but 
it's just it's crazy and then we went over to Kroger's picked up some things I got chili hot dogs and Daniel got cheese and I was wanting to make like chili but I was like I would I wanted to make chili homemade but I was craving like old star skyline kind of thing so um I picked up skyline in the tub out of the freezer and I have that plan I might just do that tomorrow though um because I want I want to get some Taco Bell I don't want to cook anything uh I know it sounds crazy but we don't have the kids we have Lex and you know, one day Lex will be going and hanging out with his friends. He'll be at school. But for right now, he's just, he's not, I'm okay with him spending a night with, away from us. But I'm just not okay with it in the sense of, he's still little. You know, he's my last baby. Like physically, he's my last baby. I can't, um, every child that you have, it makes your CMT get worse. I don't care what the doctors say, but, um, Everybody that's on my this the Shark Care Marine Tooth page has all said every time they have a child their CMT gets worse. So next time that I have a child, if I do, it would probably 100% put me in a wheelchair and be in even more pain than what I deal with now. So I just I I don't want to be in a wheelchair like that. Like I do have to depend on it like 75% of the time and not active during the winter time because the fact that it's cold and my joints hurt and my hip hurts even more because my hip dysplasia and it's not fun but um yeah I'm gonna go home work on some blankets and well you guys are gonna be with me while I put this Taco Bell order in but yeah I'm just I don't know what to tell you guys other than <sighs> it's my life. <laughs> it's my life. I'm going to work on some blankets when I get home and just be at peace with my life and go through some things. I hear somebody has a car alarm going off. Oh, by the way, uh, going back to the seatbelt thing. If I do get, like, pulled over. I haven't got pulled over yet, but if I do get pulled over, like, um, I have a paper stating that as of, we're aiming for February to get it fixed, but we're maybe looking at March, given the fact that February they're completely booked with, um, like, appointments of getting, they're getting, um, selling cars and stuff because income taxes and stuff like that, so, um, it's just, I might be looking at March to get my chair fixed. So, or not my chair, but my seatbelt fixed. Okay, let's see. I am wanting to loop around town and go in and out. Now, we kind of do like a big order because when we go here, because of the fact that um it's just I like to get a couple of things and have a couple of things snack on later so bear with me hey how are you pretty good um can I have two Dorito Locos uh -huh. uh can I have Can I have a number three? Sure. Uh, uh, the Baja Blast. Uh -huh. And then, can I have two steak quesadillas? Uh -huh. And then, can I have one uh, soft shell supreme? And then that'll be it. Is everything correct? Yes, it is. 2442. Thank you. You're welcome. Now that's usually not everything we get, but
I usually get three Dorito Locos because sometimes I'll eat two and then like Alex will eat one or Daniel will eat one or whatever, but I got two. Thank you. So, Daniel doesn't like coming to the Taco Bell by his house, by his job, because they usually forget something, miss something, and stuff like that. So, given the fact that they took the time and they like had me wait, I'm not too concerned about it. Like, I'm not too not too bothered. I need to cut across. That's in the middle. They're going to rallies. Okay, so I can get over it. I don't know why people on this road, like, if you come out into the middle, they will purposely get in the other lane instead of letting you, like, get up to speed and getting up to speed on here is like above the speed limit so it's just it's really ridiculous like it's 45 through here and like I'll admit I, I I'll go above the speed limit like not ridiculously fast but like I'll go above the speed limit like the legal speed like that you're allowed to go because you, they're you're not gonna ride the speed limit every single time right on point all the time in your life but like, there's just people, they'll do, like, 60 and 70 through here, and it's just, it's ridiculous. Because it's a main road, and it's two lanes, and it goes into four. But, like, what's funny is down there by Daniel's job, it's one, two, three lanes, four if you count the turning lane, and then it goes, heading back to our house, it goes two lanes. And then it goes two lanes all the way up until past the speed light, speed, up past the stoplight, and then... Um, from there, it will go, um, it'll be like two lanes, but then if you want to go straight, you have to get over and then there's a turning lane, but people fail to realize that. And also it reduces the speed. So like it's 45 through here going down. And then after the light that I was just at, it's 35 and then 35 turns into 25 because you're officially in, um, where everybody like lives at because you're actually going into the city so it's 25 through there but there's so many people that just like speed on this road and it ticks me off straight up and then like they try to get around you and they try to cut you off and then they realize oh I need to go straight this lane over here is a turning lane I'm sorry for being a butthead and trying to take you off the road because I didn't know what I was doing or what I was talking about or anything like that. And it just, it bothers me. It bothers me. It bothers me so bad. 
I, I'm just, I'm ranting and I'm just, I'm trying not to. So like right here where I'm at, it's 30. And then as you go further down, it gets down to 25. So like, I don't know. It, it just like, it aggravates me in a sense. But I'm just going to talk to you so I get home and make up for some of this video. In another video, I plan on doing uh, what's in my purse, the bag that you guys saw me pull out and I said that I would do. Um, I plan on doing that as my next video. And then I don't know if I'm going to put it with it or make it separate, but I want to, I want to do, uh, what I've been working on video. So, um, projects and ideas that I have for different things. So actually, you know what? I'm going to get off here. I'm going to call my grandmother and let her know that I made it home safe, <clears throat> made it home safe. And then I'm going to call Daniel and tell him to come out here and grab these bags. So. I'll see you guys in another video. I'm sorry I lied to you, so I was going to talk to you all the way home. But I got to do what I got to do. Alright, talk to you guys later.